So there she goes. Oh, it looks good. It looks real good. All right, guys, welcome back to Fishing with Vance. Uh, today I'm gonna we're gonna do a couple things. Uh, it's gonna be part two of the uh, Pelican Bass Raider modification here for 2022. Um, I got both the tables on there for right now, but today the big thing is I'm going to have a unbox my Honda motor. Um, I, I got this thing a little while ago, but um, other projects kind of got in the way of uh, getting it unboxed and also <clears throat> I need a place to put it once I got it out of the box. So I finally got around the building the motor stand and here it is here because basically I got it from uh, watching um, Bill of Rights fishing and Bass Brothers fishing. It's sort of a combination of the two. Uh, I like to uh, <clears throat> uh, Mark from Bill of Rights' uh, uh, design. And then, I, like I said, I picked up a few things from uh, Bass Brothers um, channel. So if you want to see how to build that, I'd recommend those channels. Uh, those guys do a great job, especially, uh, well, both of them do. So, but anyway um so i got the this thing built yesterday it wasn't hard just out of two by fours there's casters on the bottom and uh that's where we're going to put it once we get her um out of the box so um i want to see what it's like uh, hanging off the back of this um all right so first thing i want to do is uh let's unbox this motor and we'll get that out of the box see what that looks like and i want to you know sort of dry fit it on here and just see how she looks off the back of the pelican and um we'll go from there so let's uh, let's bust into this box i'll switch to uh my other camera just because uh, i'm by myself so all right let's get into this thing um as you can see it's still i don't know if you can see out there but it's actually a little warmer today it's uh gotten up i think it's close to 40 degrees so some of the snow may start to melt you can see the old red girl out there she's hiding in the front yard kind of landlocked right now in a whole snowbank anyway all right so let's get into the, let's get into this the Honda 2.3 took me a while to get this guy just because like I said earlier um i think the first two more motors i ordered got stuck in a cargo ship but we don't need to get into that because now we have one here so so got here before fishing season starts <clears throat> so what i'm planning to do with this motor just before i even break into it is oh look at that beautiful is I like to fish some new spots this year. I know most of the guys that follow the channel know that I tend to fish, you know, in the Pelican, smaller bodies of water and uh, that are electric motor only. But this year, I like to expand my horizons a little bit. All right, what do we got here? And fish some bigger, uh, some bigger bodies of water. Um, that is going to make sense to have uh, a little more horsepower to get around, you know, so I'm not spending all day. The trolling motor does fine. I have a 55 pound thrust. Uh, the plan is I'm going to put this gun back and, and turn the uh, trolling motor around and put it, turn the head around on that and use a 55 pound thrust out the front. Um, kind of set this thing up as a single man pelican for most. Uh, trips, but like I said, I wanted to try to fish some bigger bodies of water. So let's see. All right, so back to the box. What do we got here? Carb emission tag inside. Right. <clears throat> it means it's a cleaner engine, ultra low emissions. Oh, that's awesome. I certainly don't want to be contributing to any, you know, global warming type of situation. Absolutely not. 
would never think of it. So let's uh, put this over here. All right, what else we got in here? Uh, yeah, we got some official Honda Marine motor oil. I'm not going to put that in now. We'll wait till we get closer to the season. Put that pop in. All right. Got the all important, all important owner's manual. Looks like the pull cord. So, all right. <clears throat> Set that off to the side. Again, the goal for today is to just dry fit this thing on the back of the Pelican and see how she looks. Um, one of the reasons I, I wanted this motor was because um, how light it is. I believe it's only about 29 pounds. So that's going to be nice. Um, I'm sure, I'm, I haven't figured out exactly how I'm going to go about you know, loading this thing at the, at the new lakes. But we'll figure that out. That's all part of it. We'll figure it out. More than likely, I'll probably have to... Uh, since I don't really back this into the water, uh, and like I said, I don't know, there's a couple different places I'm thinking of fishing first, lakes, to sort of get used to it, but <clears throat> what I'll probably end up doing is uh, putting the motor on board with me and then getting the, getting the boat in the water and then mounting it and then uh, going from there. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll figure that out. All right. Let's see how this goes. I know there's a certain way that you want to carry these. It's, it's, it'll show you, but I mean, there's nothing in it, so it shouldn't matter. Yes. Exciting stuff. Let's get her on. Oh, she looks pretty. Very pretty. other guys have this on theirs so this is the 15 inch uh, shaft so I didn't think I needed the 20 and I don't I don't have to lock this down too much it's not it's not like I'm going for a drive all right all right so see we're gonna have to get rid of this guy which is fine these things are temporary. All right, so we'll work on that in a second. All right. So there she goes. Oh, it looks good. It looks real good. <clears throat> All right. Sorry, I don't know that one. All right, well, you don't need to know that one. I love when she listens to me. All right. Ah, it looks good. There she is, the Honda 2.3. <clears throat> oh man, I'm excited. Fits pretty nice on there. I probably could if I wanted to keep this situation, although I'm not sure I do. I'm going to be fishing out the back. I could bring her this way a little bit. But. Like I said, I don't really care that much about that rod holder. Let me 
slide it over a little wee bit like that. See, that's not gonna that's not gonna work because no matter what you go to steer it's gonna be in the way <clears throat> so and then obviously if, you know for reverse you gotta do this and this is gonna be in the way so that's fine that's why we're dry fitting it just to see how she goes oh but I like how it looks that's for sure that's gonna be awesome it's gonna scoop me nice even me in there it's gonna be real nice all right let me uh, work on some stuff and I'll be right back let's see how she fits on the uh, on the um, the motor stand I'm pumped fishingwithants.com <clears throat> I got these uh, pole holders out of here for now and uh, I'm gonna want to be able to put those back um, whenever I'm fishing out of this with the uh, uh, you know, with just a trolling motor back here, and I'm fishing out of the back, or if I have two guys with me, uh, if somebody's fishing out of the front, I'll put them back, but they're easy to clamp rack on and off. But I wanted to just see how this thing would, you know, rotate. Um, it looks to me like unless I get some type of extension, I'm not going to be able to sit close enough with this table here with this bracket. So it looks like that guy, the homemade table, is going to come back into play because I can get nice and close. So, hmm, that's okay. That's what uh, that's what it's for. But uh, all right, so let me swap these two, and then we'll see how much closer. Because there's no way with me sitting there, I'm not going to be able to reach over this. And then also, <clears throat> I can tell right now with these in the way, that's that's definitely going to get in the way. Um, <clears throat> now granted, this guy's just going to get me from point A to point B, and then <clears throat> for the most part, I'll be fishing out of the front uh, with the trolling motor, I'm saying. So this is just going to get me from you know the dock to the spot or move spot to spot in the bigger lakes or if I would venture into the river. <clears throat> Let me see how low this thing gets. I think, I think it's perfect. It's definitely not not too low. I can move it back over now that I got those pole holders out of the way. Just, just get it dead center now. a little closer to center so yeah I don't see me being able to reach over this so let me switch the tables around and see how that goes all right guys welcome back I uh, what I've been doing is trying to figure out different configurations um, you know to run the Honda motor there so something I definitely didn't consider um, is this table, my original plan, if you guys follow uh, part one, was to have the Honda motor here, then this table or this little guy right next to it, have the seat in the middle, and then me fishing out of the front, just one seat. Now, <clears throat> I don't think that's going to work just because, and I'm not going to put it all back, but I've been. Uh, I've been moving it all around off camera and what I found was this table um, sorry about that it's my phone this uh, very narrow table that we did did in part one right up against um, the motor it was gonna be too far away for me to reach that even with an extension and the way that I built the motor I wasn't gonna be really be able to steer much because uh, even with an extension it was going to get into my rod holders so you know that's that ta this table is definitely not going to work in that position so then I tried this one um, and what the issue with that was it was too high 
it's sat up too high. And the reason why that table sits up higher is because of the recessed, um, I'll show you, the recessed pole holders. That was the idea behind that guy. And that table still works well, but not for this application because it sat up too high and then I definitely wouldn't be able to get to the throttle. So, I think where I'm at now is I've got two different options. Um, and one of which I think is this, is I, even though I was gonna go with just one seat, you know, whenever I'm running this, because don't forget, I'm gonna have my trolling motor up here. This thing's wired with our Anderson connectors. And if you haven't ever seen that video, go back and watch that. It's, it actually works great. I like it like this with the motor, or I'm sorry, with the battery in the middle and the Anderson connectors out back. That way trolling motors can be front and back. Sometimes we actually run two. I uh, used to before the one uh, uh, needs repaired. Anyway, so with the battery in the middle, I think I think this is going to be okay. Um, either with when I'm by myself, or you know if Steve or Penner or Cat are with me, um, they'll just have to fish out of the. They'll just be in the front with the trolling motor. It might be a little little tight, but uh, no different than what it normally is because you know these seats being on brackets. Yeah, you only have so much space, but it'll be no big deal. I'll still be able to, I'll be able to fish back here. Uh, I just won't have my back pole holders, which is no big deal. I'll just use these. And then the guy in the front will run the trolling motor. Now, whenever I go by myself, I'm hoping that, uh, you know, I'll have the trolling motor up here and I'm just gonna step over this table. Um, I made it thinner and, uh, Hopefully old Vance will be thinner by then. I've lost some weight, but I got a ways to go. But um, I should I'll see if I can shift this up here and then just step right over. I'll run with both motors. I'm sorry, run with both um, both seats. I'll just step over the table and come back here. Now if that ends up not working out, then I'll just go with no table. And um you know, that'll kind of stink for me but at the same time you know on lakes that I'm going with this motor you know I probably you know I could go with not eight poles and uh, that'd be fine because then I'll just uh, I'll look into you know maybe getting some type of tie down thing I know other guys have done it where they have little straps that tie down I already have some clips on that side that uh, uh, I was going to use for uh, sort of a power pole and I should be able to use something of those put put a an eye bolt on the other side or something and just any type of tie down just to keep the poles from flying into the water or me kicking them off into the water I'll put a two over there and two over here and we'll call it good um, I think I can get two of them in here and I'll look into that but I think I'm gonna try this configuration first see if I can step over just take my time and uh, Whenever I'm running this, I'm definitely going to take less tackle anyway. Um, you know, if I take this, I'll have, you know, I could have, you know, five, six poles with me. And if I take the small tackle box, um, it'll be out of the way. I'll be able to step right over that thing, take my time, step over it, jump in the front, run the trolling motor. I'll just run both uh, both seats. So I think that's how it's going to go. Now, <laughs> having said that, I know I talked about getting my Lowrance back in business. I'm not sure where that's going to go. But I think the Lowrance is going to have to be up here. Because, um, you know, even when I'm fishing by myself, I'm probably going to fish out of the front anyway. Even if I don't take that motor and I'm going to I'm gonna get in the habit of running. I'm going to turn the, the head around on my trolling motor anyway. So I'm going to put it out the front. Um, and that motor the head's going to be turned, so I'm going to be fishing out of the front, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, I definitely have to do something with these. I don't like this like this. They're too flippy floppity. I'm going to put some type of uh, maybe a PVC in there um, that comes up maybe about that high. It gives us a little more, a little more stability uh, than those rod holders. Um, so I think the Lorenz is going to have to come way up here which is where most guys fish it anyway they have it up here so 
that'll be in the next video. We'll install the Lowrance up here. And uh, I'm going to put it in with a RAM mount. I already have the RAM mount. Let me see if I have that. Yeah, I already do. So, yep. Knew I had this from my table days. So I should be able to put that pup right there. And mount the Lowrance right here. And then I'm planning on just running the wire. I'm not sure. We'll figure out the wiring situation. If it's going to come in here. And then, because I believe I'm going to put my smaller battery is going to get somehow in here. So we'll figure that out next time. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mount the rants up here and... If we end up with rods here, and another reason why I'm probably going to run the wire right here and down to some type of battery that's mounted to this um, for little rants. So might as well use it. It's not doing any good in the box. And then, uh, and then I'm not sure where we're going to do with the transducer yet. But figure it out for next time. For now. Um, I think this is how I'm going to run the, uh, I think this is how I'm going to try to run that motor first. Um, so to do's left now, I need to turn the motor around on my, the head on my trolling motor. Haven't done that before, so I better research that a little bit. I think it's a matter of just unscrewing it and turning it around, but we'll see. Um, so I'm going to do that and then also look into some tie downs and then i gotta get the box out and figure out what i got with the lorance so all right before we go let's try out the uh let's try out my holder here for the motor the uh motor stand because this can't stay on here in my garage so See what happens should be fine this thing is not that heavy i gotta read up on this too and see how this uh this all works from a trim perspective but uh i don't think it's too complicated but let's take her over to the stand Could be nice. This could be real nice. It'll work. Again, nothing fancy with this. Bass Brothers. The channel Bass Brothers. I'll put a link in the description for those guys. They do a good job. And then of course Mark from Bella Rights. I've been following him for years. And so it's kind of a this this uh, motor stand is sort of a combo of both. Um, but yeah, it looks, looks good. It's going to work perfectly. I'd say probably the only thing I screwed up here was if I wanted to, you know, put a bucket there. I don't see myself being able to put a bucket on there, um, based on how I have this. But that, I could change that. I was just giving it some more stability. But I don't see myself running it much here in the garage. But, alright, so that'll work. Success on the stand. It's not going anywhere. Let's wheel this thing over here. Be nice if I could get both on there. Let's see. Trolling motor's hiding back here in the corner. Needs worked on anyway. I got so much spare wood everywhere. I don't know what I'm doing. I'll tell you what. Next thing I got to do is clean this garage out. I got too much crap, like everybody else. Look at this. I got too much junk. So, I got all this junk. I'm going to do a video on. Uh, maybe we'll do a video on some serious garage organization of all this tackle. And because uh, I got tackle in there and up there and all over the place. And, um, I tend to use that stuff over there. I like what I did there. So maybe I'll rip this all down and get this out of here. And 
go from there. All right, I digress. Sorry about that. Okay, let's see if this uh, see if this will fit on here too. Yeah, maybe not. That's okay. It really wasn't designed to hold both. I'll tell you what, let me move the Honda over and see if this will go on there too. Hold on. Well, well, all I had to do was move it over a little bit. No problem. This guy is cleaned up and I'm going to reverse the head on this anyway. Actually, this is my 44 pound that needs worked on. So maybe I'll use this to uh, I'm try to try to fix it. What it's doing is it's not, uh, it won't turn off. Like if you plug it in, you know, as soon as I plug it in, it wants to just run. So it's probably something wrong with the switch. I started to look into it a little bit. I'd love to fix this. I love this motor actually better than the 55. It's lighter and uh, I really like it. So, but yeah, back to the stand. Fits pretty good. I like it exactly what I wanted that to do keep my motors out of the way pretty sweet all right success that's gonna wrap it up for today's video that's uh, I know not much there other than the Honda unboxing and trying to configure the uh, what we wanted to do with the with the Pelican Bass Raider so stay tuned next video we will mount the Lowrance figure out how that's gonna go and get wired I think that's how I'm going to run this. I'm, I'm, I'm glad I tried to, you know, do the dry fit with the Honda motor. And, uh, you know, my original plan in my head just isn't going to work. So I think this will. If, it, if this doesn't work, then whenever I'm running the Honda at new motors or in the or I'm sorry, new rivers, or <laughs> new lakes, new rivers, come on, Vance, uh, I may have to just get rid of the table altogether and, tie some poles down and roll tide. We'll see what happens. All right. Thanks for joining me today. A lot of talking today, not a whole lot of action, but uh, anyway, thanks for joining me in Vance's garage here on this uh, snowy February day. It's actually a little warmer today, but on this February day. Thanks for joining me today. See you next time on fishingwithvance.com. Fish on. Baron out.